Hear me well, are you? You OK? Why are you not phoning me back? You're going to have to let me know what you told them yesterday. I'm going to be in the cafe, so come and find us. Morning. Is Tracy up yet? Still in bed. I've told her to stay put. Yeah, she's exhausted. Look, I can't thank you enough for going with her and supporting her yesterday. Get away. Anyone would have done the same? No. Not a lot of people would offer to go and do something like that. I'm just sorry that you never got the chance to see him. Yeah, I know she's gutted, but trust me, it's a good thing. It's way better she remembers him as he was. Wish I'd never had to see him like that. You're so strong. I don't know how you do it. Well, I'm grateful for mates like you and Amy. I had a lovely chat with her yesterday, actually. What, you and Amy? Why, well, like, what was she saying? Well, she said some things about my dad that were surprising. It just made me see stuff differently, yeah. What, like what? Um, I... Yeah, I'm outside now. I'm coming up. OK. Um, sorry, Kerry, I've got to go. Oh. So when I spoke... You tell her about Deb's asking you lot to move in. It'll take her mind off things. Well, I hope she'll be okay with taking on another kid. I mean, one teenager in the house is one too many, isn't it? True, but our Sarah's no smelly boy. I must say, Faith, you've taken the news pretty well, aren't you? Well, why wouldn't I? I mean, I am really going to miss Deb's, but I just want her to be happy. And Sarah's my grandchild. I'd do anything for her. Not really, if I'm honest. I can't believe Debs is breaking my heart by running off to Scotland. At least you'll still get to see them. Oh, no, babe, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it to come out like that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just all getting to me. Well, look, the last thing I want to do is add to it. In fact, I wanted to give you some good news. Debs has asked us to move into her place. What about Faith? Won't she be looking after the house? No. She'll be moving out. We're going to be taking over paying the rent. Oh, wow. This is just what I need. I've been struggling with all the noise and people bobbing in and out. Charity, this will be perfect. Our own space. Just me, you, and the boys. <sighs> Ta. Hey, listen, make that a double on the house. Ooh, what we're celebrating. I take it Vanessa is happy about the new living arrangements. Oh, you should have seen her face. It lit up. So, anyway, I know we can discuss it all later, but I just wanted to say I'm so happy you're on board. Well, I will start making a space for her tonight. Clear my clothes out of the spare wardrobe for one thing. Whoa, so... Faith's moving out and you lot are moving in. So, you're, like, you're doing house swap? Yeah. But if, if Faith's not moving in here, who's she going to move in with? <laughs> what? No, 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 no flipping way. We've got house for this. Marlon, you're so easy to wind up. I don't care, she can go to Kane's for all I care, as long as she's out of my hair. So, babe, I've been thinking, quiet night in, me and you, and we can discuss the big move. Anyone want to take my money, or shall I vault the bar and pour myself a g and Ooh, not sure our public liability covers hip replacements, madam. <laughs> you so remind me of me when I was disappointed with my dreary little life. But happily, I got released from my prison. We just need to know where we stand, Laurel. I can't believe it's got rent to pay and two kids to feed. Hey, but don't have a go at Laurel. She's in the same boat. I've told you everything I know, so... Hey, go through at the back. You don't have to listen to this. Go on. Right, what are you having? I'm a half, please, Charity. Oh, uh, give this young man a pint and stick that behind the bar for all the workers. Hey. 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 Won't Jay's insurance pay out for your wages, you know, now they're making repairs? Uh -oh. Well, Jay would have said if that was the case, so... Well... I've got something that I think may cheer you all up. I've decided to organise a little charity fundraiser at the salon tomorrow for the children's ward. Friday fun day, half price treatments. Well, the thing is, we're not earning, so it's way out my price range. Sorry, Kerry. <laughs> I'll have a coffee, please. Ladies, now, I'll be giving it my support in my role as counsellor. <laughs> you see, on social media profile, I was looking even more gorgeous than I usually do. 